time to uh, approach this torpedo wall or what you call it uh, it's a uh, worthy uh, smaller tank I think because I made it really strong so I have some ideas to make it a bit lighter 20 minutes later and hopefully some kilos lighter I will do some more cutting on the plate areas, but I think I'm going to tack it first to the frame. It's easier so it doesn't get, if there is some tension built in in these boxes. So I had to put in extra bearing here because the, this steering axle was uh, moving too much. So I made one out of plastic. I hope it will work. I also got the torpedo wall in position. And I'm uh, cutting this thick plate and I will replace it with aluminum and rib it from the inside so I'm gonna have uh, aluminum plates. I also been cutting away as much as possible here to make it as light as possible. I rebuild the box for the feet here so I can uh, could uh, get the electric gas pedal in position and uh, now I'm working on the brakes and this is the uh, original main uh, brake cylinder for the, this uh, terrain main vehicle from Volvo and here I have this uh, pedal and this is from automatic and you see if you see it here that I marked it because I need a uh, 35 millimeter stroke on this move, yeah, for the main cylinder, and the, the movement is uh, this angle. I marked it there. Yes, there you can see it. There. So I need to maybe rebuild this box anyway because it's uh, I can't get that stroke. And I also think I will extend this pedal so I don't need any servo. Well, now I'm just tacking the brake pedal in a, <coughs> in a position so I will get a comfortable, see if you can get in a comfortable driving position with the feet and everything. And that it's very hard to make, uh, decide where to put it. So I just tack it. And then I, I make the proper brackets and all that stuff. Well, now it looks like that. But I think I have to rise the steering wheel and the axle there because I can't move my leg from the brake pedal to the, to the gas pedal. It's uh, too tight here. So I don't know how I made this before. Well, now I raised the steering wheel 45 millimeters and it's so much better space for the the knees and feet so I can uh, move both feet between the pedals and uh, now I'm planning to build a new bracket for the brake pedal and I also will rise it another 
25 millimeters because I want to extend the, the frag pedal so it will be even stronger and I'm planning to use tubes here and make some kind of a bracket for the, for the bolt stroke was not enough for for the main brake cylinder so I have to cut here and uh, open up and make this a bit wider so I can get the whole movement on the brake pedal so the fix the, the here with the main cylinder is uh, supposed to be attached with this uh, piston it have to be 40 millimeters but if I put it here in the best position, it's uh, slacking about 50 millimeters. So I must move this one a bit further. It turned out to be quite a hole here to fit the pedal. But uh, I'm planning to do like this. Somewhere like that. Then I have this stroke I need for the main cylinder this pedal can work. Now the box is finished uh, so I have the correct stroke for the main cylinder and I have the cylinder here and uh, you can see there you have the hole for the lever to be fitted and I think I must uh, come somewhere around there. You can see the finished bracket for the main brake cylinder. Now I just have to uh, make some kind of uh, fitment between here between the piston from the main cylinder and the brake pedal. I think I can uh, find some OEM parts in my hidings. I'm starting to, uh, to plan the flooring and uh, as you can see here it's quite high. I'm uh, 184 centimeters high and it's almost uh, to my waist. So this is going to look quite awesome I think when you get outside. But uh, our plan here is to put a, a tube, a circular tube, quite thick underneath here and then I put in these aluminum plates, five bars, I think you call them three bars, five bars inside so I have, uh, it will be three of these, one at each side and then one at the other and then I will be build some kind of uh, aluminum hood underneath the seating so I cover uh, the motor and uh, electronics. <laughs> a couple of brackets for the five bar aluminum plate and I will weld them in uh, the corners like this I have to grind them so they fit better and uh, I will have six fixing points for each uh, plate here I will uh, put an uh, aluminum angle between so this will be five millimeters lower this uh, bracket here, five millimeters lower, and then uh, I will have some support for the for the plate, and I will also make some holes for the for the levers here, for the all wheel drive and high and low. Now all the brackets are in place, and I also made this uh, aluminum reinforcement here, so. Uh, this five bar plate won't uh, 
bend. So uh, I put these five millimeter below, and this is all the same level as the other one. So one plate here. Today I received a package with these uh, parts from a cotton axle, and these are the small flanges who fits to the Ladaniva transfer gearbox. And now we're gonna pair these uh, to the TGB 11 cotton axles, who are the, the bigger sized uh, flanges. And uh, hopefully this outer diameter is fitting the inner diameter of the an axle from the JGB 11 or the Laplander. Well, sometimes you are really lucky. <laughs> Look at this. This is outer and inner. Perfect fit. A good tip if you want to cut a tube as straight as possible, use a, a bit uh, of tape. And then you tape it around and then you in the, in the intersection, it should be straight. Then you have a, a perfect cut. And I also make this uh, joining of these two cotton axles as close to the joint as possible. Because if I don't get this 100% in center, it doesn't have that much impact on the whole cotton axle. If I should make the joint in, in the middle of the ax axle and I don't get it 100% straight, it will wobble more than if I make it in the, in the end. with that. I don't think the RPMs or they became that off-center so it would be any problem. It's not a high-speed vehicle. Yeah. Well you see here um, the rear axle can move could move 100 millimeter up and 100 millimeter down then it uh, cut an axle hit these two supports the motor so I had to I think I cut this one and then just make a put a tube underneath and here I maybe make put a triangle there there and then I cut this and fill with a two millimeter plate. I think that would be enough. Here you can see the front uh, cotton axle in position and the angles uh, it's not that bad. I think it's uh, gonna work quite well this. Here you can see the rear cotton axle and uh, the angles here are even better than the front. And here you can see I had to massage the frame system so I can have free space so the rear axle can travel. Finally, I uh, will be able to fit these black diamonds onto a vehicle. I have been, have built another vehicle many years ago and I have uh, these black diamond suspensions lying on uh, uh, in my storage and finally I will be able to fit these on a vehicle. I've been looking forward to this. Um, feels really nice because these were quite expensive when I bought them. It must have been 20 or 25 years ago and uh, I had them on the vehicle for just uh, yeah some months and then I Rebuild that one, I couldn't use them. But now, finally! Yeah, now I got the black diamonds in place. Here in front. And here in the rear. Yes, now I'm pushing these poly bushings into the pan hard. Uh, trailing arm or whatever. I found these uh, in, a, in a box and I figured out that this was the, the only one I didn't exchange when I built this vehicle. Started to build this vehicle 15 years ago. I think I exchanged all the other bushings but I didn't uh, 
do this uh, trailing arm. Yes, and I'm working on the flooring and I'm using these uh, five bar plates, aluminum, three, uh, three millimeters thick. And uh, it's a lot of angles and uh, I have to measure this backward because uh, I can't make lines of this uh, five bar side. So you sort of have to think backwards. It's quite hard if you're tired as I am now. The plates uh, got some cuts and I uh, also marked them so I, and drilled so I can put them in place. this. Also drill the hole for the four-wheel drive high and low. Okay, short summary. I fitted a torpedo ball. I made some holes in this thick plate to make it lighter. Fitted a main brake cylinder from uh, the Laplander. I put the brake paddle there. I extended it 25 millimeters because these are drum brakes and I hope I don't have to put a servo on. Electric gas pedal. You can see the switch for brake lights. I uh, raised the steering axle 25 millimeters, 45 millimeters because I couldn't move my knees. I put an extra bearing in place so the steering axle doesn't move at the side. I fitted my black diamonds suspension for rear and in front. I made these cardinal axles. Here you can see the flooring. Also drill some holes so I can have the levers from the Lada Neva gearbox. Here you can see the rear cardinal axle and the black diamonds in the rear. Yes, that's all.